Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I will show you how to make these bloomers for your baby alive doll or any 12 inch doll. I'm including this free pattern, which you will find down below in the description. In order for me to continue to offer these free patterns, I just ask that you watch this whole video through and some of the ads. Let's get started. Go ahead and print and cut your free pattern. Cut out your material. Put right sides together. If you use fabric with the design, your design will be facing each other when you put right sides together. We're going to take it to the sewing machine and we'll start at the waist, go straight down and end at the crotch. All right, open it up and flip it to the back side. I'm going to open my seam and press it down with my finger. I'm going to flip over my quilted cut and press board. One side is a cutter and one side is an iron pad. Grab your iron. Start with the top of the waist. Fold down a quarter of an inch and press. Fold down another quarter of an inch and press. Next, we will repeat the same for the bottom of the bloomers as the waist. We'll start with this leg, fold down a quarter of an inch and press. Fold down another quarter inch and press. Now do the other leg the same way. If you're interested in any items I show in my video, I will list them down below in the description so you could easily find them. Now that you have your hem folded down, take it to the sewing machine and sew straight across. and do the same for each leg. To move this video along, I will speed up the video during the sewing part, and if you'd like to slow it down, you can do so by clicking the wheel on the lower right side of the video, choose playback, and lower the speed. On a phone or tablet, click the three dots that are on the top right corner. For this next step, we need a quarter inch elastic. I picked this up on Amazon. You get 50 yards for $9.99. It comes in black, white, and a variety of other colors. And I just recently picked up this package. You get 16 colors. It's $9.94. You receive 80 yards. And I will be using this. I'll use the white but they have a lot of nice colors in here. Now they are a little bit curly and if you find them too curly, just take an iron to it, it's fine. All right, put this aside. For the waist, we need eight inches. So measure eight inches, pin it right there at the eight inch mark. I don't cut the elastic, I pin it. And then I'll take the other end. For the legs, we need two pieces of four and a half inches. We will place the elastic down a quarter inch from the edge. Once you secure the elastic in place, you will pull on the elastic as you feed the fabric through the machine. You want to make sure the pin will line up with the end of the waist. Do the same for the legs. Let's 
secure it. And now I'm going to start pulling my elastic and pushing my material through the machine. My hand is going to be in the way, and I'm sorry about that. Keep pulling on your elastic to make sure that your ends meet. Now repeat for the legs. Keep checking that your pin is matching up with the end of the fabric. All right, now that we got the elastic done, we'll grab the waist, fold it inside out, line up the elastic and the top edges, and pin it. You want to line up this crotch here and pin. We're going to sew the center back and we're going to start with the waist, quarter inch from the edge, start here, go all the way down and end when you get to the crotch, right there. Now that we got the center back sewed down, we'll open it up. In the middle of the crotch, you see a seam for the center back, and here's the seam for the center front. You want to place them together. Make sure the seams line up. Pin it. Now we'll grab one of the legs and line up the elastic and the hem. Try to get them even and pin it just like that repeat for the other leg line up the two elastics take it to the sewing machine and sew a quarter inch from the edge straight across Now that you completed the sewing straight across, we'll turn it inside out. And you always can tell the back because the back has the seam opened here where the front has the seam hidden. 
turn it inside out and we are done everyone congratulations this is really a super quick and easy project and that's it and I added a bow and you can use a button if you'd like this shirt looks cute with these bloomers and that pattern will be released in about a week or less so be sure to keep checking back once it's posted I'll list it down below in the description and at the end of this video if you're interested in this shirt you can also find it down below in the description as well as at the end of this video I literally can't wait to see what you do with this pattern don't forget to tag your creation with Lily's design one on Instagram or if you like you can send me a photo and I'll post it on my photo gallery on my website you'll find my email down below where you can send your photos thank you for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my video be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell this way you'll be notified when my next video comes out and please share my video on your social media this way I can continue to offer free patterns Thank you. Bye-bye.